issue with penetrating brain injury, it's mostly gunshot wounds, sometimes other penetrating brain injuries, but most of the data that's out there is from the battlefields, from the military, and that doesn't reflect what happens to civilians. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of shootings happening, so we collaborated with Shock Trauma in Maryland, Yale University, and UMass, we put all of our penetrating brain injury patients and their data together, and then we looked at things that might predict survival. Those are very simple clinical data, including what is their motor function on admission, do their pupils react, do they have other injuries to the body, for example, the lung or the abdomen. We also looked at radiological variables. We try to create a very simple, useful tool for the clinician to use at the bedside to only estimate what might be their chances of survival. Our next steps, and we're already in conversations with other centers, is to create a validation cohort of patients and do very similar analyses to see how well does it work when applied to a separate cohort.